Billy has a 1987 Jeep YJ Wrangler, first year model, with the 4.2 liter 6 and the 5 speed manual transmission. And he has some transmission and fluid issues. I have a 1987 Wrangler with what I believe is an AX15 transmission. Three times I went to my mechanic because I had to fight it into gear. Each time I was told the transmission was dry. The weird part is they can't find a point where it could be leaking. Anything you can offer would be helpful. Actually, unless Billy's Jeep has an updated AX15 transmission, which would be a six-cylinder application from 1989 up, his transmission is a Peugeot unit. When you describe the transmission being dry, I'm not really clear whether it's the transmission. You say it's difficult to shift into gear, but running a transmission dry of fluid would create bearing noises and certainly would have damaged the transmission severely by now. If you're having difficulty getting a 1987 to 1995 YJ Wrangler into gear, and if you're going into the shop and they're saying that the hydraulic clutch fluid is dry, you have a hydraulic clutch release bearing problem, and that's very common. If the transmission itself were dry and the gear lube is not visible anywhere and there'd be a lot of gear lube on the ground if that were the case, then the only other place that that gear lube could be going would be into the transfer case, and that would show up in the transfer case fluid, which is normally ATF. The difference between gear lube and ATF is very clear, so simply inspecting the fluid at the transfer case would eliminate any guesswork about whether the transmission is losing fluid into the transfer case. And that would be extraordinary, by the way, because of the way the seals are designed, it's unlikely that that could happen. On the other hand, if the hydraulic clutch linkage system is running dry, and if the release bearing is actually leaking fluid, which they quite often do, then the problem could simply be a slow leak that doesn't show up as more than maybe a drip in the driveway that could be easily mistaken for a rear main seal drip of oil. The hydraulic fluid for the clutch system is actually DOT3 brake fluid. So there is a distinction between oil and the fluid that's used in the hydraulic clutch system. You don't put motor oil in the hydraulic clutch system or you'll surely have problems with the seals in the hydraulic clutch system. The hydraulic release bearing on these models requires transmission removal to replace. It's a major job and generally is done in conjunction with replacing the clutch cover and clutch disc, which would likely be damaged from the brake fluid spilling across the disc over time. So if in fact the clutch linkage is either bleeding down or leaking, your difficulty in getting that transmission into gear could very well be the clutch release bearing the clutch master cylinder leaking down, or a fluid leak somewhere in the clutch hydraulic linkage. I trust that helps, Billy.